Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to create a simple driving game with BuildBox 3.3.9. This is a simple driving game where you drag your mouse left and right, or you drag your finger left and right across the screen to steer the vehicle along the path. And then you collect these little points along the way, and you try to stay on the path for as long as you can. And each time you collect a point, you slowly, slowly get a uh, faster and faster um, so it's a it's a really really simple game uh, it's pretty fun and you just um, you know try to stay on and when you uh, fall off the vehicle splits into multiple pieces and you have this really simple game over UI so let's go ahead and let's jump into this game and I'm going to show you how to develop this from scratch okay so I'll exit out of this I'll go to my home screen and then we're going to go up here at the top left corner click create new and then click create 3d game Okay, and also just to make sure that we're all on the same page, I said that we are doing this with BuildBox 3.3.9. You want to go over here to BuildBox and go to About BuildBox and check that you're using the same version. Um, hopefully, you're using the same version. It might be a later version, and hopefully, there's you know not too many uh, differences. And if there are, it's all uh, improvements. So let's go ahead. Let's start off by exiting. Um, let's go ahead and delete this cube. So you select the cube in your scene, and then you either hit Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. Okay, so BuildBox starts you off with um, a, a nice grassy uh, field for your ground. Okay, so let's we're gonna change that in a little bit, but first let's go over here to our asset library, and we've got shapes, smart assets, and assets. So right now let's go ahead and let's double click on the cube shape, and that will add the cube to our objects menu here in our asset panel. And you can also click on the Add to Project uh, button here, and that will also um, add it to our Objects menu. Um, this cube is going to serve as our defeat zone uh, for our path. And then I do want to show you smart assets here for a little bit. These are assets that have nodes that are already built into these assets, and we will go over these in another tutorial later on. Um, and then we have regular assets. We're going to grab a bunch of regular assets right now. So let's start off and grab the main vehicle. So I'll double click on the main vehicle. And then let's grab a couple buildings. So double click on brick building, factory building, let's skip gas station. You can select hospital building and add add to project and that'll do it as well. I'm gonna double click on small building, a luxury apartment, old apartment, cafe building, modern house. There's a bunch of great buildings here that you can uh, choose from and add to your game. Uh, I recommend just going through and adding uh, as many as you want. And I think, yeah, I think you'll wanna add more decorations later on but I think this is a good starting point so now let's go ahead let's add in one more asset let's add in tools okay this is going to serve as our points for our game so double click on that and then we are good so let's go ahead and let's exit out of the asset library okay and then let's go ahead and drag our main vehicle up here to our characters menu we'll go ahead and select our main vehicle and we'll go over here to the top right in uh, the options panel and change the collision group to character as well and then let's drag our main vehicle out here into our scene okay Great, uh, it looks really it looks really good. I think this is gonna work. For our game, we're not going to use the grass. So let's go ahead, let's select ground, and then we're going to go over here to ground type and select no ground. Okay, perfect. And so now we're going to create a path. So, uh, real fast, uh, we want to add, uh, add a scene or add a scene path to our game. So uh, let's do that first. So. Uh, let's go down here to the bottom uh, of the outliner and where this little plus button is and select this plus button and select scene path Okay, now you can see this little faint line that was added here And that means it added the path and you can see it here in our outliner as well And you can select it, uh, but we need to add a texture to it So I'm gonna teach you how to look up a texture So you want to open up a web browser uh, use any browser that you like and search road texture looping Okay, and then just go to images. Okay, great. So I'm gonna teach you how to avoid bad textures. So first off, you want a texture that is vertical, that goes like this, up and down. Um, and then you wanna avoid textures like this, 
where um, this one actually it might work, but basically what you don't want is you don't want uneven gaps in between the lines. And sometimes if you have a short gap here and a short gap here and then big gaps in between, it just doesn't work. So uh, one texture that I like, I think that works well is this one. Uh, you can see it's a half to uh, like a half gap here and then a half gap here and it's gonna make like a full gap right here. So let's go ahead and right click this one save image as, save it to your desktop. I'm just gonna call it road texture. I'll go ahead and include this in a download link in uh, the description of this video as well for you so you don't have to look this up, but I just wanna show you how. Okay, cool, so I'll exit out of this and then I will drop that road texture here into my path. Uh, so now we've got this really awesome uh, looking path uh, that we can use. Let's take a look at how the texture loops. So I'm gonna grab the end of my scene here, I'm gonna grab the blue arrow and I'm gonna stretch it out and you see how the gaps stay even and it looks pretty nice. That's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's also, um, let's duplicate uh, this scene and add more up some more path to our game. So I'm going to select the start scene down here at the bottom and then I'm gonna hit uh, D to duplicate my scene. And then um, that will go ahead and make a copy of the scene. You can also select the little add button here and this will add a blank scene. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this scene by selecting the scene and hitting the delete button or backspace button on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna just press yes. Um, the reason why I like duplicating scenes is because you duplicate, you duplicate a lot of the work and so you save yourself a lot of the work. But you'll notice that each scene duplicated the character as well. So we wanna go in and delete the second car because we don't want two cars. And then let's go ahead and rename this scene, scene one. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and let's set up our vehicle so that it is driving down this road. So first off, let's give our car some physics. So I'm gonna set the physics to dynamic, but there's something that I want to uh, point out here. And, uh, and first let me explain, I guess that uh, dynamic means that it is going to adhere to the laws of gravity. So that means it is going to fall just like, just like it would in, in the normal world. But we have a problem here because the position factor is set to zero. So it's actually not going to fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this car up just a little bit and then I'm gonna press play and you can see the car is floating in the air. But um, what we want is we want the car to be able to fall off the path. So we'll select the car again over here on the left and we'll change the position factor to one, okay? And the position factor to one, so that means uh, it can fall. Okay, and that's great. It's falling down now, but it fell through the path. So let's fix that. So let's exit out of the preview and actually let's change the position factor to 0.5 so that it falls a little bit slower. Then let's make it so it doesn't fall through the path. So we're going to select our scene path here in the outliner, go over here to physics and turn physics on. So that means now it can land on the path. And we gotta do that for the first scene as well. So we'll go to the first scene, select our scene path and then turn off, uh, turn on physics. Okay, and then boom, it lands right there on the path. All right, it's starting to look good. So um, let's go ahead and let's make a few adjustments uh, to our world uh, settings uh, right now. So I'm gonna have us go up to the world, 3D world right, real fast. And then I want us to change the gravity to negative 70. Okay, so we're actually gonna crank gravity up. Next, uh, let's go ahead and turn fog on. So this is pretty cool. You can go ahead and see that there's a little bit of fog now in the distance, but let's decrease the fog start distance to 2000 instead of 3500, okay? So 3500 means it's gonna start 3500 away from us. 2000 means it's gonna be a little bit closer to us and you can see the fog is a little bit more prominent. And you can even, you can bring it in even closer. You can do something like 1500 and, and really get the fog effect. And you'll be able to see that more and more when we add buildings. All right, let's exit out of here. Okay, next let's get this car moving. So let's double click on our main vehicle here. And then let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, add in some movement nodes here. So we'll go over here to the left and hook up a move node. And so we went over here to movement and let's hook up this move node here to our created output. 
and then we're going to change, we're gonna get rid of the Y constraint on the move node because I want, to, I want you to know that there's a difference between having zero and having none when you're entering values into these boxes for the move node. So zero means that it's not going uh, to move at all. So I'll go ahead, I'll put in zero real fast. Okay, and you see how it's barely, barely falling. Okay, it doesn't actually, it's like gravity and this Y constraint is, is like, are, they're like fighting each other. Okay, and I'll change the Z to zero as well so you can see this. So it's not moving at all, but it's like, it's just barely falling because gravity wants to work, but it's also fighting the zero. So what you wanna do is you wanna make it none, and then it's going to fall naturally, boom, okay? So that's, that's actually a little bit more of what we want. So uh, next, what we wanna do is we want the car to drive away from us, so we're going to do it at a speed of negative 20, all right? And then we'll go ahead and press play, and you can see, boom, uh, the car is flying down the road, but it's also bouncing a little bit too. So that's a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna exit out of the preview. Um, let's go ahead, let's go to our 3D world. Let's fix the, the bouncing part. And let's go over here to friction. And let's crank up friction to about 0.9, okay? So it, wasn't ha it didn't have uh, friction before, and so it just was bouncing like all over the place. And let's press play. Okay, cool, and it's already a lot smoother, but uh, there's also another problem here. It's still bouncing, so we need to go ahead and fix that, and the way you fix that is by adjusting the collision shape, okay? So the collision shape is right here, our starting collision shape. Let's go ahead and let's select our car and let's take a look at this collision shape. Okay, so the way you look at collision shapes is you turn on collision shape editor, and you can see, okay, I've got this cube collision shape here. So what we want to do is we, it, this is rubbing, rubbing, rubbing all over the road. And so what we want to do is we want to make it so that this is actually just touching at a single point um, in the road and it's smoothly moving across this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the um, collision shape to hull. Then we're going to ch select a sphere and we're going to save that. And let me go ahead and shrink this down here so that you can see this. So this is the mesh manager and we're going to select sphere and then click save. Okay, and then, all right, hey, this already looks pretty good. Uh, gosh, um, oops, let's, I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo. You can also hit Control Z to ever, if you ever need to undo something. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this into the ground and I wanna see how, if, if, how it's touching. Okay, hey, that looks really good. That is actually perfect. That's exactly what we want. We got really lucky that the collision shape's already set up for us. So let's go ahead and let's get out of the collision shape mode and that's gonna work, and let's see what our preview looks like now. Ooh, it looks pretty smooth, doesn't it? Yeah, it is gliding uh, across this road nice and easy. Okay, that's what we wanna see, but we got a few problems. One is we need to be able to control the character and make the character sw swerve, and then also we need the camera to follow the character. And we're gonna go over all of that in part two of this video series. We're gonna end the video here, and if you wanna see any other tutorials like this, please let us know in the comments below, and I will see you in part two.